Columbia University, New York, the previous place of activity of Professor Burkhard Rost. He is a pioneering scientist specialized in computational biology who analyzes the structure, functioning and interaction of proteins within the human DNA. Our focus is can we look at proteins and can we, from the sequence only, from the data that you can easily, cheaply produce, can we see something about what this protein is doing? Can we see changes? Can we see dynamical behavior? Can we see that your protein looks slightly different than my protein, but both proteins are going to do the same thing? We're trying to predict protein-protein interactions. We're trying to predict aspects of protein structure and protein function. So in some sense, the niche of our group is the combination of machine learning and evolutionary information. Computational power is essential for Professor Rost as his structural and functional analyses already provide a literal data explosion. And still, there are about 25,000 proteins assumed to exist in human beings, nearly half of which are still completely unknown. But exactly this basic knowledge is the key to modern medicine. Every misfunction of an organism and every functioning of an organism ultimately boils down to how proteins do the job. The more I understand about how proteins function, how they, how they interact, how the whole system works, the better I will be able to answer questions. Questions such as, how do I solve the cancer? Or how do I get rid of the cancer? How do I solve diseases? The Technische Universität München, with its interdisciplinary network of life sciences, natural sciences, engineering and medicine, as well as with its supercomputer facilities, is ideally prepared for Professor Rost's needs to now pursue his cutting-edge research in Munich. This appointment means that computational biology practiced in the scientific community of Munich will be internationally unrivaled. At the same time, we pool the activities in one very future-oriented research field that is of high relevance, especially in the areas of bioscience and medicine. What really motivates me, I believe, is, at the end of the day, is curiosity. And biology is a field of a dynamic that is incredible. The chain, we, we have revolutions every five years, everything changes dramatically, and I find that fascinating. I find it fascinating to discover how much is there in front of us that we have to discover. How much is it that we don't know?